<laughs> Go away! Take four. <laughs> Hey guys, James here again, and today we're going to have a bit of fun with the BSA R10TH. So you may have seen the video that we've done recently with this one. It's going to full review uh, if you want to check that out. But what we're going to do today is set out some targets at various ranges. I've got the balloons, if you remember the emoji balloons, and we got a load of eggs as well, because it's two years since we did the egg challenge uh, with the HW100. And what I want to do is show how easy and how accessible this is. Because one of the comments that we have quite a lot is great, you've shown us that you can shoot at 100 yards, but for somebody that's starting out, how would I go about doing it? So what we've done is we've chronographed the R10 earlier this morning as part of the review, and we've taken the readings from the, the results that we've got there. Now what you then do is, I'll keep this as brief as possible, is use a, an app like Sterlock Pro, you work out your average um, FPS that you wanna use, work out heights of like the scope and, and all that kind of stuff and then you enter your data into Stairlock and then what that does, I'll put a picture here, is it kind of it produces the data that you can then use to roughly guesstimate where you're going to be shooting. Now the data is accurate, it's perfectly usable but you may find that you just need to refine it a little bit to make it spot on. So as I say, this is the scope view that we will be using for this rifle. I've got eggs, I've got balloons, and we're going to put them out at various ranges and kind of go from there. Now, I've got Charlie with me as well. You may have remembered him. He was in videos years back. Uh, he was also in the Switzerland video when we went down there. And to show that this is perfectly accessible and that when you put the effort, the time, and the practice in, that you can hit targets at whatever ranges you want. And again, this is targets, nothing else, that anybody can do it. So we're going to see how well this goes and see if we can get Charlie hitting targets 100 yards with ease. Now with this rifle, it's a, it fires like a laser, this should be easily done. So anyway, let's set up, let's get going. Alright guys, so we've just spent a couple of minutes setting up and we have now have balloons going from 10 out to 100 yards. Uh, we started with balloons first, it's a bit windy, we'll see how it goes, could be a bit of a laugh. So I'm going to set up behind the BSA R10TH. And uh, yeah, let's see, see how it does. There we have it guys, that was 10 to 100 yards in not many shots. Okay, slight change of plan. We have just tried setting out the eggs. We haven't cut the grass, it's too long. So we're gonna set out balloons uh, at 100 yards. I'm gonna see if we can get Charlie hitting balloon sized targets. Obviously somebody doesn't shoot. If we feed him the information that we have composed and compiled through the tests, in theory, we should be able to tell him where to hold, roughly what to dope off for the wind, and he should be able to walk straight in on it. So we'll do that, um, and then I think we'll take back over and try and go, what do you reckon, 120, 140? See, see what happens. So let's get Charlie set up, let's get him hitting stuff at long range, and uh, let's carry on. Good shot. That was easy. All right, Mr. Easy, off you go. Well done, mate. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was a fan of it, but yeah. <laughs> Bloody good. Nice. <laughs> That's really well done. Okay, so hopefully.
hopefully that was something fun. Um, I mean, the first set of balloons there went way easier than we expected. Um, we have tried doing the eggs, but the grass at the moment, because we've not cut, because just weather and stuff, we just haven't had chance to, to get the grass down, so we can't see the eggs. And even when we're stacking teas up, like three teas on top of each other, it's just, it's, it's too long. So give us a chance, we will do that, and we'll revisit this whole thing again. Now, I say Charlie shot amazingly. He's just set, setting out another target for me now, but he shot really well. For somebody that doesn't shoot, to be able to give him the data that we've collated and we've kind of learned and just said, right, this is where you need to aim, this is where you need to aim off, hit it, he did really well. To hit it with this and then to freestand it with a crown, it's, it's blooming good shooting. So props to, to Charlie if you are watching this. This rifle here, I have to say, has changed my kind of perception of BSA and their products. The work that's been done on this, the refinements, the changes, I mean the magazine is different, contrary to popular belief that you see on a lot of the forums. Newer magazines, just it's been, the fit and finish is just a lot better than things that I've seen before. So I have done a review, if you want to watch that I'll put a link below and you'll probably see a card up here in a minute as well. So you can go and check out the full review and see this actually in action. If you've got any comments, any questions, put them below and obviously if you want to see more from us, feel free to like and subscribe. I'll put more of this on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. So if you're not following us on there, feel free to check that out. But like I say, superb gun. And, and yeah, long range shooting. It's accessible for everybody. You've just got to be willing to put the work, the effort and that practice in. And then you can pull off whatever you want. So anyway, guys, until next time, thanks for watching.